Through Lincoln, Nebraska we go for the game that became so good 40 minutes wasn't enough. Remember, Wisconsin only has one loss in the month of February, January, and December combined. To the second half we go, because again, the first half was boring. Ethan Happ inside, didn't have his best of games, but he does get the layup there off the glass. Free throw, no good, Badgers up three. Bronson Koenig inbounding the ball, gets it back. Koenig ended up with 12 points, and the Badgers lead by six. Now, it's a seven-point de deficit when Isaiah Roby, who you were really impressed with. Yeah, he played hard on both ends, very, very active. When he fouled out of the ball game, that was a big turning point in the favor of the Wisconsin Badgers. And then Nebraska goes on a run. Ty Webster ends up with 19 points, gets fouled there. Free throw is good as well. Then more from Roby with a steal and a layup. Nebraska scores nine unanswered points and takes the lead. Mike Riley in attendance, clapping, loving it. Under three minutes to go, we're tied. What ball movement here to Zach Showalter. Showalter hit four of those deep ones. Under 20 seconds left, the Badgers lead by one. Nigel Hayes inside, turning around, gets the friendly roll. The Badgers lead by three. And with five seconds left, Michael Jacobson with the shot of the week, a three to force overtime. Good. Extra innings we go. In OT, Wisconsin down early, but they turn to the guy who again helps them from deep, Zach Showalter. This is a, an example, Mike, of four seniors who know how to win and don't panic. And a big mistake by Glenn Watson gives them a four point play. Then Watson trying to answer. Can he ever? The Huskers take the lead by one. 90 seconds to go. Wisconsin down by three. A three would tie it. And it's Koenig. Of course it's yeah. Koenig. Of course he banks it, because it's Koenig. Wisconsin down two now with 25 seconds left. They need something great. And they turn to Nigel. It goes to 11. The three ball for Hayes gives them the lead. So the Huskers try to answer. And it's time for defense to win the day. Look at what Hap does. Ethan Hap with the block to basically end the ball game. A wonderful defensive play. Show me what happened one more time. Excellent uh, job by Hap there of not allowing Webster to get into his body and use his length. And that was a situational substitution by Greg Gard to get Hap in on the defensive end of the floor. They had to take him out offensively because of his poor foul shooting. Thrilling ending of this game. This guarantees a winning Big Ten season for the 16th straight year for the Badgers. Nigel Hayes ends up with 20 points and a post-game interview with Stephen Bardo. All right, thanks, guys. Nigel, you guys couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. You had a lot of turnovers. Nebraska was on offensive glass. How did you pull this game out? Uh, just toughness, big shots, big plays. Um, Ethan made a couple good defensive plays that probably be overlooked. We had some guys diving on loose balls. We got like three or four uh, jump ball arrows and looked like, you know, like a high school girls game <laughs> out there. Um, but guys, guys made up for the, the lacking that we had. Again, you said we had a lot of turnovers, couldn't make a shot, but there's uh, more facets in the game of basketball that you can do to help win. You know, I, I look at you, and every time you make a big play, your facial expression doesn't change. Are you jumping up and down inside, or, or is that just part of your game? Uh, inside, I'm pretty, I stay calm. I really do try to stay calm, almost to a fault. There have been times people say, you know, I don't care when we're out there because I'm not running around crazy. But um, I guess that's just me being wise beyond my years. I mean, I was watching you, Big Ten Elite. You didn't look, you know, like erratic out there, so I tried to stay calm like you. Well, listen, you get another overtime game when things aren't going well. What's going to be the next step for you all to be elite and to match the goals that you've set for this team? Um, it starts with us playing the first half of basketball. I think our last six games, we've only played the second half, and uh, we're still able to come up with wins. So we want to turn that corner, go from good to great, get the goals that we have written down for ourselves. We're going to have to put 40 minutes together. Well, congratulations on a clutch performance, my man. Go enjoy with your team. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right.